Hello everyone, welcome back. I think you might have all seen 2022 UPSC mains paper. I think uh, essay is quite uh, completely different. We have geography paper, I mean to say paper 1, where we have geography, history and society. This time geography questions are quite more, almost 10 questions are asked. 10 questions is not a small number. So I will be discussing all those 10 questions in various videos, various question by question. Starting from the first question, that is describe the characteristics and types of the primary rocks. This is a 150 word question, where you get 10 marks maximum max and 10 marks. So in general, if you write with diagrams and all, you will get almost 6 marks and so even then, you get 60% of the marks, that's a very good score, very good score. So yes, we will go into this question. Uh, he is asking us characteristics and types of primary rocks. So I won't be giving answer here, but I will tell you how to write an answer or where you get, what areas you have to concentrate. First, uh, characteristics. What is this primary rock? Simple logic. What is, how does, you know, primary rocks uh, form? This, for example, this is me standing on a land below which I have uh, magma. Magma, again, we generally classify core, mantle and crust. Here we have magma. Magma. Magma is high pressure, right? I think you will accept. High pressure, high temperature so there is a huge amount of pressure built it tries to come out when it tries to come out some part will be solidified solidified inside some will come outside as a volcano primary rock means rocks which have been formed inside the crust they have not come out the magma inside has not come out and it has been solidified inside. He is asking that type of rocks, primary rocks, that is igneous rocks, also called as primary rocks. This basic understanding is needed to answer this question. Primary rocks, secondary rocks. Primary rocks means igneous rock. You can write about various igneous rocks in the world, how they are distributed. First, you have to explain this at least in three to four lines to four lines not as a definition but how primary rocks or igneous rocks have been formed this gives the examiner saying that okay this person knows the basic funda of how this works solidification of magma simple logic and unfossil us obviously we don't have fossil we don't have fossil because these are igneous rock if it is a sedimentary rock yes we will be having fossil if sedimentary rock converts with high pressure and temperature it can convert at a metamorphic but in igneous we won't find fossils because it is magma it is lava converted into solidification so we won't find fossil this is something which is very important i think you can see here igneous rock that is intrusive plutonic rocks right extrusive rocks rocks which will be formed after magma comes out so he's asking about primary rock which is you no know, igneous rock simple logic so this batholith or stock right these type of lacolith where magma is stored inside you have to write you may draw this diagram or not necessarily this a basic diagram where it shows magma is inside called as primary rock comes out comes out extrusive rock you can mention that that is very much important not complete at least a block diagram is sufficient extrusive igneous rock we have igneous rocks which will come out called as extrusive igneous rocks which are basic oxides examples you have tried because he's asking about characteristics you have tried what is a chemical present in that where you can find them in the world you can find them in india you can find them even if you write indian example that is very good iron Aluminium, magnesium, and thus denser and darker in color. Extrusive igneous rocks. When the rocks comes out, it's denser and darker in color. Again, we generally classify into acid rocks and basic rocks. Acid rocks. We can write the characteristics. This is the main characteristics you have to write. Where silica is high, they are less dense, lighter in color than basic rocks, and which has Cl, that is portion of the crust. This we have to you know stress this word. Acidic magma cools fast. When magma cools fast, it won't spread. It will be solidified then and there. So, acidic rocks solidified then and there. Like granite, quartz, feldspar. We have other rock called as basic rock in the primary rocks itself, which is not so good. 
in silica when silica is poor it can spread fast magnesia content is up to 40 percent cools slowly and thus flows and spreads far away right like dakkan like dakkan which has been spread basaltic rock right which is the dakkan plateau the one of the biggest plateaus one of the biggest uh, no, volcanic eruptions fissure eruption magma which is dakkan which is basaltic you can give an example gabbro and dolerite rocks which are weathered and relatively easy i'll show you the pictures just half i think you don't need to draw these pictures but you have to say how for your understanding half the look you can write about the texture and all and magnetic iron because he said importance also no so chemicals present nickel copper zinc now chromite lead manganese gold diamond platinum these are all found in the igneous rocks because of the high pressure and temperature no chemical composition turns and forms as uh, this type of rocks so this is one stuff that will that is very important and in the next video we will be discussing about the second question discuss the meaning of color coded weather warnings for cyclone prone areas given by indian meteorological department that is imt so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel thank you